tell me, how did this date start with this guy? <laughs> well, we were real friendly, and we were all trying to get involved and have some fun, and he decided, like, wanted I want to try something new. Let's well, try something kinky. Let me ask you, how did you know this guy? Well, he was a friend of mine via, uh, you know, relations. Were you friends from, like... Fet life. Fet life, it's yeah. It's a fetish thing. People. I'm familiar with fet life, right? He was right? in the fetishes. What fetishes got you started? CBT. No, it didn't. <laughs> Shut your mouth. It was tying more. Mostly rope work, bondage, BDSM. I'm a Shibari. sub. And so how'd this guy catch your eye? Well, he was also he was into drunk. opening. I was drunk. She was drunk. Wait, what we what's opening trying? mean? He was into trying. He wanted to try right something place, new. Right time. And so C and B and T. Oh, what do you you're kissing this girl right now. Why is that? Because well, because she knows what I like. Experience and she don't keep it real. Okay. So he asked to try something new, he but he didn't know what he wanted to and try. And it was very frustrating. And we were kind of like, she was in a bad mood. Well, how were you involved in this this conversation? Oh, a three way. It was basically. a three way situation. No, well, her and I grew up together in New York. We've been friends slash playmates since we were in junior high years and years ago. Right. Fat but life. we met this random guy through Fat Life, and he wanted to try something new and kinky, but didn't know what exactly he wanted to try. He just says, you know, surprise me, right? Right, so I was yes. going to surprise him. And she surprised him. And I did. With a paddle to the balls. And he wasn't a fan. No. No. Most guys, most guys wouldn't be. No. Some most are. Most Some are. And Very rare. I've only met one. They're actually. very into it, the ones that are.